Hi everyone, I'm Anastasia from Ukraine. Please like and subscribe. My parents were obsessed with my little sister. Everything they did revolved around her. Holidays, clothes shopping, family dinners, all of it was for Eleanor. It was like I was invisible. I had worked so hard this year at school and even became top of my class, but even that barely got my parents to stop fawning over Eleanor for more than two seconds. Our annual vacations were just random spots Eleanor pointed to on a map. She didn't even know where she was pointing. Last year, we ended up in Antarctica because of her. My parents thought she was so adorable in her little snowsuit. Meanwhile, I was freezing because they forgot to buy me a winter coat. This year was gonna be different though. My dad pulled me aside to talk last month. You've been such a great big sister, letting Eleanor take center stage all the time. But you worked so hard this year and you deserve a reward. What do you wanna do for family vacation? I wanna go on a cruise. I was so excited. A real vacation on a real cruise ship. For once, we were doing what I wanted. When I walked into the living room, Eleanor had her eyes closed and then she spun around and pointed to somewhere on the map. Looks like we're going to Panama. Dad just said I was choosing. You both are. We'll go on a cruise to Panama. I can't just have one year that's just mine. You're being very selfish, Anastasia. This is a compromise, you should be happy. Why is it always me who has to compromise while Eleanor gets everything she wants? My dad looked apologetic, but he didn't stick up for me. I started to stomp off, but then I slipped on my sister's stupid toy. So annoying. I couldn't even storm away without her ruining it. But as soon as we got on the ship, I decided, you know what? I wasn't gonna let it ruin my vacation. I was gonna ditch my family and do my own thing. My parents probably wouldn't even notice me being gone anyway. I couldn't believe it. The ship was gigantic, not to mention gorgeous. I was so ready for this. Our cabin was a little small for four people, but that's all right. I didn't plan on spending much time in the room. We were thinking of hitting the buffet. Sorry, can't, I'm going to the pool. I zoomed out of there so fast, I practically left a dust cloud. I wasn't gonna get stuck in a buffet line with a bunch of old people and little kids. At the pool, I was lounging on a chair with a good romance book and not a care in the world. The best part? No nagging parents or annoying little sister in sight. I let myself fantasize about meeting a cute guy who looks like the cover model for my romance novel. Hey, not likely, but I could dream. At sunset, I walked to the railing. The sky swirled like cotton candy and the ocean sparkled in every direction. Then I heard him. Beautiful. When I turned to look, I saw a boy with a long blonde mane like a lion. Was I crazy or did he look exactly like the hero from my romance novel? The view's not bad either. Wow, that was cheesy. But I couldn't help blushing anyway. Hi, I'm Damon. I'm Anastasia. Anastasia? Let me know if there's anything you need. That's kind of a weird thing to say to a stranger. I work here. He pointed to his uniform. Of course. I felt so embarrassed. Keep it together, Anastasia. He's just doing his job. Sorry. No worries. Want a tour? Yeah, that would be great. Damon took me on a private tour of the entire ship. I was trying to pay attention to all the interesting facts he was telling me, but I kept thinking about how much he looked like the hero from my romance novel. Was this a dream? Or maybe my fantasy's becoming real. When we passed by the kiddie pool, my sister started jumping up and down and waving her arms. Anastasia, Anastasia, come swim with me. I put my hands over my eyes and pretended I couldn't see her. Maybe it wasn't the nicest thing to do, but I needed to set boundaries. This was my time. Damon took me up to the bridge where the captain and all the navigation tools were. It was amazing. Is it okay to be here so late? It's almost night. That's when the captain came in and yelled at us. I guess it wasn't okay. Damon took my hand and we raced back down to the main deck. What happened? I didn't know we were breaking the rules. Technically, we're not supposed to schedule tours this late. Damon, I don't want to get you in trouble. You're worth it. How would you know you just met me? Maybe I'm a criminal. Even if you were, I'd still like you. My heart started to thump in my chest. Damon gently took my hand in his and then kissed me under the stars. In the cabin that night, I lay awake thinking of the kiss. I felt like I'd been transported into a real life romance novel. Even Eleanor's snoring couldn't wipe the smile off my face.
The next morning, I couldn't wait to see Damon again. But before I could leave, my mom blocked me at the door. You know, this is supposed to be a family vacation. I'd like you to spend some time with us and your sister. I can't right now. I already made plans. Besides, I see you guys every day. You're not coming to breakfast, Anastasia? Yes, she is. Yay! But mom, my friend's shift starts at lunchtime. If I don't see him now, you can see your new friend afterwards. She didn't listen to a word I said. I was too mad to eat when we got to the cafeteria. I watched the guests at the pool having a blast. Meanwhile, I was stuck here with my parents and annoying sister. And the lady at the next table over was throwing a temper tantrum. Something about her earrings being missing. Eleanor showed me the smiley face she made with her pancakes and bacon, but I wasn't in the mood. Do you want to help me build sandcastles when we get to shore, Anastasia? Maybe. I knew I couldn't say no here or else Eleanor would start crying and make breakfast even more unbearable than it already was. Anastasia, stop sulking and eat your breakfast. I tipped the plate over into my mouth like it was a bag of chips and finished the whole thing in one bite. Then I gave my mom my most sarcastic smile. Can I go now? Go ahead, sweetie. I hightailed it out of there before my mom could contradict my dad. Damon wasn't on the sun deck where we agreed to meet, but that made sense. I was over an hour late. Thanks a lot, Mom. I searched all over the ship, but I didn't see him anywhere. Finally, after searching forever, I approached a crew member and asked him if he'd seen Damon. What he told me made my head spin. He told me that no one named Damon worked on this ship. I said there must have been some mistake. I showed him my romance novel and said Damon looked just like the model. But the crew member said he didn't know Damon or anyone else who matched that description. I needed to think. Had I misheard Damon? No, he definitely told me he worked on the boat. He had the uniform and everything. Maybe I'd fallen asleep by the pool and dreamed the whole thing. No, I knew Damon and our magical day together was real. It had to be. There was just one thing left for me to do. I had to find him. I searched high and low, from the engine room to the balcony on the sun deck. There was no sign of him. I was almost ready to give up when I caught sight of a familiar looking shoulder turning down the hall up ahead. I crept closer and peered around the corner. Sure enough, it was Damon. Staying as quiet as I could, I tiptoed to the door to see what he was doing. In a small cabin, Damon dumped out the contents of a backpack onto the bed. I covered a gasp. Something sparkled. It was jewelry. Expensive jewelry by the looks of it. There were rubies, gems, gold rings, diamond necklaces, and earrings. Am I interrupting? Anastasia, I can explain. Did you steal all of these? And what happened to your hair? Damon no longer had the long, luscious locks of the cover model from my romance novel. His hair was shorter and darker now. You did! You stole all of this! No wonder you said you'd still like me if I was a criminal. Because you're a criminal! I'll tell you everything. Please, just hear me out, okay? It turned out Damon had seen me by the pool reading the romance novel, then intentionally changed his hair to look like the cover model. That way, he knew I'd be interested when he came over to talk to me. And it got even worse. The whole time he was giving me the tour, he was secretly stealing jewelry from the guests we walked past. I felt so stupid, like I was an accomplice. Look, I understand if you hate me now, but I didn't do all this for myself. My mom is really sick, and we're too poor to afford her surgery. Now I can finally get her the medical care that she needs. You should have been honest with me. What if people think I was helping you? I would never give you up, Anastasia. If I get caught, I'll take the full blame, I promise. And I really am into you. That part wasn't a lie. I was still mad, but he really did have a good reason. My mom drove me crazy, but if she was sick, I'd still do anything I could to help her get better. Maybe we can hang out in Panama when the ship docks tomorrow. I know you did what you did to help your mom, but you used me. I'm not ready to just forgive you and act like it never happened. I understand. If you change your mind, I'll be at the hospital visiting my mom. When we got to the shore, I had to give Eleanor credit. Panama was really beautiful. The city was so bright and colorful, and the beaches were unbelievable, and the weather was Definitely nicer than Antarctica's. Eleanor looked so lonely building a sandcastle by herself. I felt guilty. I had been kind of distant toward her on the trip so far. I think this castle needs a moat. What do you think? 
and more turrets and a drawbridge. To be honest, hanging out with her wasn't that bad. We even went collecting seashells and she told me how when she grew up, she wanted to be like me. Really? Why? You're the smartest person I know. You do so well in school, you're like a rock star. I had never realized how much she paid attention to me. I wouldn't go that far, but thanks. When I looked over at my parents, I could tell they were glad to see us getting along. We finished up at the beach and I decided to stop by the hospital to see Damon. After having some time to cool down, I wasn't that mad anymore. And I thought with all this stress from his mom being sick, it might be nice for him to have a visitor. But then when I was about to leave, my mom got in the way again. We're going to family dinner, all of us. I just spent all day with you guys. I need to go see my friend. He's going through a really hard time right now and he needs my support. Anastasia, your sister needs you too. I'm tired of always having to put Eleanor's needs before my own. What about me? What if I want to have fun or help my friend? You're being selfish again. Selfish? If she wanted my kidney, you'd probably make me give that to her too. You have two kidneys, honey. If your sister needs one, you should give it to her. See what I mean? Before anyone could stop me, I stormed off. I needed to get away. My family was smothering me. At the hospital, I stopped in the gift shop to grab a get well card for Damon's mom. I could see Damon through a window checking in on her. Aw, he was being so sweet with her. I understood now why he did what he did. I didn't want to intrude, but Damon saw me and came out. It means a lot that you came. And thanks for not selling me out. Of course, I got your mom a card. Thanks, I'll give it to her later. She's sleeping now. No, she's awake. Look, she's waving at me. I can give it to her now. If you want, I'm just gonna go grab us some coffees. While Damon left, I went in to give his mom the card. Thank you, dear. You're not a nurse, are you? No, I'm Damon's friend. We met on the cruise. Damon? Is that the nice young man who was just in here? You mean your son, right? Oh no, I don't have a son. I have three daughters. Have you seen my bracelet? It was just right here. I froze. Did Damon really trick me again? I sprinted out of the room to look for him. No way was I gonna let him get away with it this time. There! Up ahead, Damon was sneaking toward the exit with a duffel bag over his shoulder. He saw me chasing him and started to run. I wasn't gonna make it on time. He was almost to the door, and I knew when he got outside, he would disappear forever. Somebody stop him! He's a thief! Suddenly, Damon tripped on a toy. He tumbled to the floor, and the bag spilled jewelry everywhere. Bullseye! It was Eleanor with my parents. They must have followed me to the hospital. Security came over and grabbed Damon before he could try to escape again. You know what? You didn't look that much like the cover model. He has way more muscles than you. I turned to Eleanor. I was so happy to see her that I actually hugged her. Anastasia, why don't you like me? Of course I like you, Eleanor. Sometimes I just want to do my own thing, that's all. But no matter what, I'll always love you and I'll always be your big sister. My dad started crying seeing us hug. He was such a big baby. And then something even more shocking happened. I'm sorry, Anastasia. We should have given you more free time. We'll compromise more on the next vacation, I promise. Perfect. Who's hungry? I'm starving. I could eat. I let Eleanor hop on my back and gave her a piggyback ride to the restaurant. She may have been an annoying little sister, but she was my annoying little sister.